Have you ever pondered how tiny microbes can impact your daily nutrition? Welcome to the fascinating world of food microbiology, a realm where the smallest organisms play the biggest roles. This field of study is a riveting intersection of food science and microbiology, focusing on the microorganisms that inhabit, create, or contaminate food. Consider for a moment your favorite slice of cheese, the tangy yogurt you enjoy at breakfast, or the aromatic loaf of sourdough bread. Have you ever wondered what gives these foods their unique flavors and textures? The secret lies in the world of microbes, tiny, invisible organisms that work tirelessly behind the scenes. Food microbiology is an invisible world teeming with a complex community of bacteria, yeasts, molds, and even viruses. These microorganisms are not just passive inhabitants but active participants transforming our food in profound ways. They ferment sugars, break down proteins, and produce an array of compounds that give foods their distinctive tastes, smells, and textures. But the influence of these microbes extends beyond the sensory aspects of food. They play a crucial role in our nutrition, too. For instance, the bacteria in yogurt and cheese help us digest lactose, a sugar that many people struggle to break down. Other microbes produce vitamins such as B12 and K, which are essential for our health. The world of food microbiology is a delicate balance. While some microbes can cause foodborne illnesses, others protect us by outcompeting these harmful organisms. For example, the lactic acid bacteria used in fermenting foods like sauerkraut and pickles create an acidic environment that harmful bacteria cannot tolerate. This microscopic world is also a hotbed of scientific research. Scientists are continually exploring how we can harness the power of these microbes to improve food safety, enhance nutritional value, and even create new flavors. So, food microbiology is not just about pathogens, but also about the beneficial microbes that help us to stay healthy. It's a captivating journey, opening our eyes to the unseen world that exists in every bite we take. Believe it or not, microbes are the invisible chefs in our kitchen. Yes, you heard it right. These minute organisms, often associated with disease and decay, are the unsung heroes behind many of our beloved foods. Let's start with bread, a staple in many diets around the world. The process of bread making involves fermentation, which is essentially the work of yeast, a type of microbe. Yeast ferments the sugars in the dough, producing carbon dioxide gas. This gives the bread its characteristic fluffy texture. But that's not all. This fermentation process also enhances the nutritional value of the bread, making it easier for our body to absorb the nutrients. Then there's cheese, another food item that owes its existence to microbes. The tangy flavor of cheese comes from the lactic acid produced by bacteria during fermentation. Different types of bacteria give us the wide variety of cheeses we enjoy, from cheddar to camembert. Yogurt is yet another example of a food product that's a result of microbial magic. The bacteria in yogurt ferment the lactose in milk, producing lactic acid. This not only gives yogurt its distinctive tart flavor but also makes it a healthier option for those with lactose intolerance. And let's not forget about alcoholic beverages. The production of alcohol, whether it's beer, wine, or spirits, is a process of fermentation carried out by yeast. The yeast converts the sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. In essence, these microbes are working tirelessly behind the scenes, enhancing the taste and nutritional value of our food. They help break down complex nutrients, making it easier for our bodies to absorb them. Moreover, some of these fermented foods serve as probiotics, providing beneficial bacteria that promote a healthy gut. So the next time you enjoy a slice of bread, a piece of cheese, a cup of yogurt, or a glass of your favorite beverage, remember to thank these invisible chefs. Without these invisible chefs, many of our favorite foods would simply not exist. In the world of microbes, there are the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just like any classic Hollywood Western, the microbial universe is filled with diverse characters. Let's start with the good guys. These are beneficial microbes, our microscopic allies. They are essential to our health, fermenting foods, creating vitamins, and even helping us combat disease. They are the unsung heroes in the world of food microbiology. Now, on to the bad guys. These are the pathogens, the disease-causing bacteria, viruses, and fungi. They're the ones responsible for foodborne illnesses, causing symptoms ranging from a mild upset stomach to severe dehydration or even death. Salmonella, E. coli, and listeria are some of the notorious ones in this category. And then, there are the ugly. These are the spoilage microbes. While they might not cause diseases like the pathogens, they're responsible for the spoilage of food, 
causing off odors, off flavors, and changes in texture. They're the ones that turn your milk sour, make your bread moldy, and cause your fruits to rot. But fear not, food processing and preservation methods are our weapons in controlling these harmful microbes. Pasteurization, for instance, uses heat to kill or slow down the growth of harmful bacteria, preventing them from causing foodborne illnesses. Canning and freezing are other techniques that help extend the shelf life of our food by slowing down the growth of spoilage microbes. And then there's fermentation, a process that not only preserves food but also enhances its nutritional value and taste. Fermentation allows the good microbes to thrive, producing foods like yogurt, sauerkraut and kimchi that are rich in probiotics, beneficial microbes that support our gut health. So you see, understanding these microbial characters is crucial. It's a delicate balancing act, fostering the growth of beneficial microbes while keeping the harmful ones in check. It's about encouraging the good, controlling the bad, and avoiding the ugly. Knowing the difference helps us to harness the good, control the bad, and avoid the ugly. Have you heard about probiotics, the friendly microbes? Often, when we think about microbes, we picture tiny, harmful organisms that cause disease. But not all microbes are villains. In fact, some of them are our allies playing crucial roles in our health and well-being. These allies are what we call probiotics. Probiotics are living organisms, predominantly bacteria, but also include yeasts that when consumed in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit to the host. Imagine having millions of little health-promoting soldiers inside you, fighting off harmful invaders and helping you stay healthy. That's exactly what probiotics do. So where do we find these friendly microbes? Well, they're in a lot of places, but especially in fermented foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, and kimchi. When we consume these foods, the probiotics they contain make their way to our gut, becoming a part of the complex ecosystem of microbes living there. This ecosystem known as the gut microbiome is incredibly important for our health. The gut microbiome helps us in many ways. It aids digestion, particularly of foods that our bodies can't break down. It also plays a role in synthesizing certain vitamins, but perhaps one of the most fascinating roles of the gut microbiome is its influence on our immune system. Yes, you heard it right. Our gut microbes help train our immune system, teaching it to distinguish between friend and foe. But the benefits of probiotics don't stop there. Research suggests that they may also have a role in maintaining mental health. It turns out, there's a complex network of communication between our gut and our brain, often referred to as the gut-brain axis. And guess who's involved in that conversation? That's right, our friendly microbes. So, probiotics are not just a buzzword, but a key component to our nutrition. They are tiny, but mighty, promoting our health from the inside out. As we continue to learn more about these friendly microbes, we're discovering just how important they are to our overall well-being. So here's to the friendly microbes, our invisible allies in health. Our microbial friends need food too, and that's where prebiotics come into play. Picture this. You're throwing a party, and you want to make sure your guests are well-fed and happy. In the same way, our bodies host trillions of tiny guests, our gut microbes, and we need to ensure they're getting the right kind of feast. This is where prebiotics enter the scene, the VIP food for our microbial friends. Prebiotics are types of dietary fiber that act as food for the good bacteria in your gut. They're like the caterers of this microscopic party, serving up a banquet that our good bacteria just can't resist. These fibers can't be digested by our bodies, but they're a gourmet meal for our friendly gut microbes. Now where can we find these prebiotics? They're found in a variety of foods that we consume daily. Foods like whole grains, bananas, onions, garlic, honey, and certain types of beans and peas are rich in these fibers. So, next time you're munching on a banana or enjoying a bowl of oatmeal, remember, you're not just feeding yourself, you're catering to a party of trillions. These prebiotics do more than just feed our gut bacteria. They also play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy gut microbiota. By nourishing the good bacteria, prebiotics help them multiply and outcompete the harmful bacteria. This leads to a balanced gut microbiome, which is linked to numerous health benefits including improved digestion, enhanced immune function, and even better mental health. But that's not all. As our friendly gut bacteria feast on these prebiotics, they produce short-chain fatty acids. These compounds have numerous health benefits, including reducing inflammation and aiding in weight management. 
So remember, each time you're enjoying fiber-rich foods, you're not just satisfying your own hunger, you're also keeping your gut microbiota happy and well-fed. And a happy gut means a healthier you. Prebiotics are like fertilizer, helping our friendly gut microbes to thrive. Food safety is a major concern when it comes to microbes. So let's delve into the role of food microbiology in ensuring our food safety. You see, food microbiology is like an unseen guardian. It's a branch of science that studies the microscopic organisms that inhabit, create, or contaminate food. It's the unsung hero that helps us keep our food safe from harmful bacteria, yeasts, and molds. Understanding microbes is a huge advantage in preventing foodborne illnesses. Imagine having a secret weapon that allows you to see and understand the invisible enemies. That's what knowledge about microbes does for us. It helps us to know our enemy, to understand how they operate, and to outsmart them. Here's how it works. When we cook, store, or process our food, we're actually creating environments that can either encourage or discourage the growth of these microbes. And it's not just about the temperature or the cooking method, it's also about the type of food, its pH level, and even its water activity. For instance, foods with low pH levels, like our tangy lemon juice or vinegary pickles, are less likely to become a breeding ground for harmful bacteria. Similarly, foods with low water activity like our crunchy dry cereals or deliciously aged cheese are less appealing to those pesky microbes. By understanding these factors, we can control the growth of harmful microbes and prevent foodborne illnesses. It's like having a cheat sheet for a test, but this test is about keeping our food safe and our bodies healthy. This knowledge isn't just useful for food scientists or chefs, it's important for everyone. Whether we're cooking at home or eating out, we can make informed choices about our food and take steps to ensure it's safe. In conclusion, food microbiology is a fascinating field that plays a crucial role in our daily lives. It helps us understand the world of microbes, control their growth, and prevent foodborne illnesses. Food microbiology plays a crucial role in keeping our food safe and our bodies healthy. The future of nutrition could be a personalized microbiome diet. A statement that may sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's a possibility that's closer to reality than you might think. The field of personalized nutrition, based on an individual's gut microbiota, is an emerging science that's starting to turn heads. Let's take a moment to break down what this all means. Our gut, or the gastrointestinal tract, is home to trillions of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi. This complex community known as the gut microbiota plays a crucial role in our overall health. It helps digest our food, protects us from disease, and even influences our mood. Now imagine if we could tailor our diet to optimize this microbial community. Imagine if we could eat not just for our own bodies, but also for the trillions of tiny tenants living within us. That's the idea behind a personalized microbiome diet. But how would this work? Well, scientists are still figuring out the details, but the basic concept is to analyze a person's gut microbiota and then prescribe a diet designed to promote the growth of beneficial microbes and suppress the harmful ones. For example, someone with a high proportion of a certain bacterium linked to inflammation might be advised to eat certain foods that would help decrease this bacterium. Conversely, if a beneficial bacterium is found to be in low numbers, specific foods could be recommended to boost its population. The potential benefits of this approach are immense. It could help manage chronic conditions like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. It could also potentially improve mental health, given the strong link between the gut and the brain. In a world where one-size-fits-all diets often fall short, a personalized microbiome diet could revolutionize our approach to nutrition. It could make our diets more effective more sustainable, and more in tune with our individual needs and health goals. So, the future of nutrition might be more personal and more microbial than we ever imagined. So, food microbiology is not just about the science of tiny organisms. It's about understanding the invisible chefs that are hard at work every time we cook, eat, and digest our food. It's about recognizing the good, the bad, and the ugly among these microbes, and how they can make or break our health. Remember, We've got friendly microbes too, millions of them, living in our bodies, helping us digest our food, and even protecting us from harmful bacteria. And we can return the favor by feeding them the right kind of food, ensuring our mutual survival. Food safety is also an essential aspect of food microbiology. By understanding how microbes work, we can prevent foodborne illnesses and ensure the food we consume is safe. 
And let's not forget the exciting world of personalized microbiome diets, where the focus is on feeding our unique microbial population for optimal health. Next time you enjoy your meal, remember the tiny microbes working behind the scenes